Welcome into Walking On, brought to you by Venezia's Pizzeria. I'm Jordan Ham, and very busy week here on the college football front, both ASU and U of A. Open up Pac-12 play last week, both of them not able to pull out wins. ASU, Sean Aguano in his first game as interim head coach. A tough task against Utah, and Utah really able to flex their muscle, show why they're the Pac-12 champions. And what was really interesting was how stagnant the ASU run game was. This is the bread and butter of these Sun Devil rosters the past couple of weeks. Ex Valade having a great year so far. Daniel and Gata as well as that complimentary back. And they really struggled against Utah. That's something that is going to have to get fixed and fixed quickly as ASU takes on USC and then Washington in the next two weeks. Sean Aguano starting his interim head coaching tenure with three ranked Pac-12 opponents. So tall task for him there. On the other side for the Arizona Wildcats, while ASU struggled to run the ball, U of A struggling to stop the run. Jaden Ott for Cal, 274 yards and three touchdowns for the freshman against the Wildcats. And if you even go back to the week prior against North Dakota State, they were able to move the ball on the ground as well. So Arizona is going to look to shore that up in the coming weeks. The Wildcats host Colorado on Saturday. And ASU fans may want to look away uh, from this next little bit, but Eric Gentry of USC, the one-time ASU linebacker, former freshman All-American, transferred there this offseason. He's leading the team in tackles so far throughout the season. Had a couple key tipped passes and interception, and that helped seal the win on the road against a good Oregon State team as they won 17-14. Gentry spoke before the year about setting the tone for the Trojans. I'd be just a dynamic playmaker, smarter. Um, last year I was playing off a, a lot of instinct, but you know I was also taught a lot about the game in general. So just picking up where I left off last year and trying to build on different stuff, um, but more mentally, uh, making sure I got the right things going. And before we go, wanted to recognize a former Arizona high school standout, Braylon Trice of O'Connor High School, currently with the Washington Huskies. He is second in the Pac-12 in sacks with four and a half through four games. Kalen DeBoer doing a great job up in Seattle, 4-0 and for the Huskies. They're going to be in Tempe in a couple of weeks. That's going to do it here for this edition of Walking On, brought to you by Venetia's Pizzeria. I'm Jordan Ham. For all of your college football coverage, make sure to keep it here to Sports 360 AZ.